Okay, um, there's been a lot of comments regarding uh, Trump supporters and their state of deplorability. And uh, last night, uh, one of uh, Trump's uh, supporters uh, got out there and did what some, n maybe not, definitely not all, maybe not a lot, but definitely a few have done at various rallies of his. Uh, added a, a Trump rally in Phoenix, Arizona last night. Uh, one of Trump's supporters walked up to the press section and started chanting this. Take a listen. USA! 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 The crowd was the crowd was chanting USA. He was pointing to reporters and saying Jew SA. We have seen uh, a lot of anti-Semites and racists and misogynists who support the Trump candidacy. Wow. Do you would you call would you call that man deplorable? Well, yes, I would. His conduct is completely unacceptable. Does not reflect our campaign or our candidate. Wow. I have to push back on some of the adjectives you just used to describe. I hope you've been to Trump rallies, and I hope that you've seen the th tens of thousands. I mean, he's had over half a million people easily. Pro no, uh, over I think in excess of that, at his rallies, and these are uh, USA loving Americans who just want their absolutely. Country. See, and that's the problem that we have with um, a lot of these. Trump people, and I'm going to say on the other side as well, what she's trying to do is uh, spin an attack against uh, uh, Jake Taper by uh, trying to indicate that he is calling all or the majority of su Trump supporters out for this type of behavior. And he specifically said that he was not talking about all or even the majority of the Trump supporters acting like this. But she throws that out there uh, in order to uh, try to uh, spin away from the position that a lot of these white supremacists, racists, xenophobes, etc., find comfort uh, within the uh, Trump campaigns, okay, and within the Trump ideologies. And prosperous and safe again. Well, you just you just suggested that we're just filled with all these other isms, and I think that's incredibly no, fair. Hillary no, Clinton surrounds I, I, herself I, I, I don't, with I'm lots not saying of that people. At all, well, I, I, I'm I not saying it's that at an easy all. one. Let me make, let me make clear what I am saying. Me. That me man's conduct was deplorable, and had I been there, I would have had, asked security to remove him immediately. Clearly, he doesn't speak for the campaign or the camp. See, and, but that's a problem. You might have asked for that man to be removed immediately, but Donald Trump would not have, okay? So, and I'm going to say that most of the people, or a good majority of the people within his campaign, are probably decent people. No, it's not even probably. They are decent people. And when they hear, you know, stuff like this, yeah, they are going to criticize it. Unfortunately, your candidate is not of the same mind. Now, I'm going to let, uh, you know, this particular clip finish. Candidate. And, you okay. know, I think it's, I think what he had to say was disgusting. Well, let me, let me be clear what I am saying. The vast majority of Trump supporters do not qualify as to what I'm talking about. But without question, people who's ex who are experts on hate groups say that there has been a comfort level that has been offered to people who are anti-Semitic and racist and on and on. And these people feel comfortable coming out in the open comfort and supporting Mr. Who? Trump. All right. So uh, uh, comfort level by who? Comfort level by uh, Steve Bannon, uh, who runs Breitbart. OK. Uh, comfort level uh, by... Uh, and I forget the name of the guy, but uh, he runs um, that uh, extreme uh, right-wing blog. Um, and I'll think of his name in a minute, but uh, he's out there uh, backing Trump. And it's the guy that uh, is uh, with the conspiracy theories. And then you have uh, your buddy of mine, Rush Limbaugh. He's out there uh, pumping things up. So, uh, yeah, th there's a comfort level. And on top of it, uh, guys like David Duke uh, have come out uh, all along indicating that Trump supporters are their supporters. And he did this as recently as uh, last Thursday when 
by some miracle, uh, he was able to obtain a, a 5% support, which allowed him uh, to uh, appear on stage uh, in a debate uh, that's being held in, of all places, at HBCU uh, for uh, the uh, position of a senator from the state of Louisiana. Okay, and obviously, you know, it's, it's David Duke, and we know he's a long-time uh, white supremacist, uh, K, former KKK Grand Dragon, etc., etc., etc. And I heard about it. I got to assume that Trump has more resources than I do when and if he heard about it, there has been uh, no statements of uh, dissing himself. Trump says, yeah, 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 I disavow, I disavow. But he does not do it with any uh, sense of urgency, conviction or anything else. Now, Kellyanne Conway is going to try to dispute that when it, that statement is made by uh, Jake Taper. But, you know, she's being disingenuous. Comfort level by whom? The campaign I run, Jake? Seriously? Comfort level by Not whom? you. Mr. Trump has refused to condemn, in a, in a very serious way, his racist and anti-Semitic fans. He just has. He, is, he says things like, oh, sure, I disavow, I disavow. But he has never seriously said, I don't want the support of those people. They are reprehensible. They have nothing to do with me. He has never seriously done it in the yes, same way has. that you that. and Mike yes, Pence has. has. Yes, he has. He has done that. And let me just repeat on his behalf that that's the way this campaign feels. And, you know, I do. I think that this exchange is, frankly, the best piece of evidence I have that we're actually going to win in nine days because the idea that we're going Going to shift away from the, the, the pattern of corruption, the cloud of ethical stain that Hillary Clinton would bring to the Oval Office. It's such an important weekend where we're again reminded why a majority of Americans already don't trust her or must, much like her. And All right, and there's Kellyanne Conway spinning away from the topic. Oh, and by the name, the name that I was looking for earlier was Alex Jones. So, um, you know, and that guy is a total uh, nutcase as it is. But you know, you see where I'm going here. Uh, Trump is, Trump himself is reprehensible, just to be honest with you. And um, he's drawing people who are of a similar mind to him as far as the various things that uh, were and are shouted in various videos. They use all kinds of profanity when referring uh, to Hillary Clinton. Um, it, it's th This is got to be one of the uh, worst election uh, seasons in the history of the country. And hopefully in nine days, uh, this is over and done with. And then the country can get on with uh, the fact that there's a lot of healing that needs to take place.